We begin our tour in the Engineering Society's coffee and donut shop, commonly referred to as the CMD. The CMD is home to the cheapest coffee on campus, and you can even make it cheaper by bringing your own mug. It'll save you 10 cents. Just past the CMD is Poets. Poets is our engineering student lounge, home to foosball, pool, movies, and general socializing. Located just down the hall from Poets is the Engineering Society office, more commonly referred to as the Orifice. Open Monday through Friday, this is the place to visit when you have any Engineering Society questions, need to borrow a stapler, or bind your work report. Having trouble in classes? Worried you're in the wrong program? Looking for information on our exchange programs? The first year office is your place to go for everything academics. Douglas Wright Engineering, more commonly known as DWE, is home to the Civil and Environmental Engineering Departments. As DWE is home to over 20 classrooms and labs, there's good odds you'll have at least some of your classes here regardless of your program. Like DWE, J.R. Coots Engineering Lecture Hall, or RCH for short, holds many lecture halls. Connecting RCH, DWE, and CPH is Engineering 2, or E2 for short. Like RCH, E2 is home to several computer labs and the Weave TA office. Weave TAs are upper year students who are available to assist you in many of your classes. Just down the hall from the Weave TA office is the Weave Lab. Recently renovated, the Weave Lab will host many of your first year labs. Also accessible through E2 is Engineering 3. E3 holds many mechanical engineering labs and the machine shop. On the other side of Ring Road, you'll find Engineering 5. Home to the Mechanical and Mechatronics Engineering Departments, E5 is one of engineering's most recently built buildings. Within E5, you'll also find the Sadra Student Design Center and the Weef Machine Shop. The Design Center is where engineering student teams, such as the Concrete Toboggan and Midnight Sun teams, work to design, build, and test their projects. Open to all students, the Weave Machine Shop provides any undergraduate engineering student with access to trained staff and the equipment needed to build out any idea. Across from E5, you'll find the Davis Center, or DC for short. DC is home to one of the two libraries on campus. Across from DC, you'll find the Center for Environmental and Information Technology, or EIT for short. Should you hear students talking about the Dinosaur Building, they're probably referring to EIT, as EIT is home to the Earth Sciences Museum. Not far from DC is the Math and Computing Building. Home to many lecture halls, it's not unusual for engineering students to have classes here. 
the Mike and Ophelia Lazaridis Quantum Nano Center, or QNC, is home to the Nano Engineering Department and contains shared research space for the Institute of Quantum Computing and the Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology. Between QNC and MC is the Student Life Center. Within the Student Life Center, or SLC, you'll find the Federation of Students offices, the used bookstore, Bomber, our campus pub, and many other student services, including the Health and Dental Plan offices, Campus Tech, the Turnkey Desk, and Greyhound and Go Transit ticket sales. Conveniently located across from SLC is our newly renovated Health Services building. Feeling sick? Need a doctor? Visit Health Services and their friendly staff will do their best to look after you. Heading back towards engineering, we'll pass the Dana Porter Library. Home to several floors of books and study cubicles, DP can be a great spot to hold a group meeting or catch up on studying. Just across from DWE is the Tatham Center, more commonly known as TC, or even more commonly known as the Co-op Building. This is where many of your on-campus interviews will be held. You can also visit the Center for Career Action located within TC for assistance with your resume, preparing for an interview, or finding a co-op placement. <laughs> 